Yeah, man. Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you jerk chicken brown stew. You're gonna need an onion, a medium-sized onion, a stalk of scallion, four garlic cloves, spring of thyme, quarter teaspoon of dried pimento berries, a tablespoon of sea salt tablespoon of dried basil, a tablespoon of dried parsley, any of these herbs you can use them fresh, a tablespoon of jerk seasoning. You see all the rust, all that metal rust on the lid made the, the surface rusty. What I do is clean it off properly and put a bag over it and then you can continue using it. You're going to need a pound of chicken's parts. This is two legs and a thigh. It's frozen, so I have to defrost it. If you got frozen chicken like this, put it in a bowl, pour some water over it, and allow it to defrost. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. While we wait for the chicken to defrost, we're gonna start preparing our seasonings. So spring of thyme, garlic cloves, just remove the outer leaf and cut off ends. Trim off any spoilage that you might see on a garlic clove. It's best to cut the onion close to cooking. As for the onion, just remove the outer leaf, just the leaf now, because you know, the first layer of the onion is the strongest. Do as you see me doing and remove the outer leaf from the onion and cut off ends. Scallion, if you don't have access to scallion, it's optional. You don't have to use it. But do as you see me doing and remove dying leaves and cut off ends. Root end and the tip of the scallion leaf. Now, rinse, spring of thyme, the scallion, and the garlic cloves on the fresh running water. Chop scallion fine, or dice it fine. Dice scallion fine. Do the same for the onion. I don't dice my onions, I just slice them. Keep ingredients separate. Next, mash garlic to pulp. And you can grind it to puree. At the end of the day, you want it to be mashed out. You want it to be fine. So that when you, when you cook it and you serve it, they won't bite into garlic. It will, it will ju 
just dissolve into the stew and disappear. Just to get the, the jerk seasoning out of the way, measure and add one tablespoon jerk seasonings. Or jerk seasoning. Jerk seasonings. Keep the ingredients separate. One tablespoon, one full tablespoon. If you want it, one tablespoon from my experience will give you a mild spicy stew. If you want it to be spicier, add two tablespoons. This is the browning. I'm gonna add it while stewing, while preparing to stew. And soy sauce. I'm gonna add it while preparing to stew as well. And the pimento berries. And I'm just gonna measure and add it. Quarter teaspoon of pimento berry. Dry the pimento berries. Now I'm measuring and put aside one tablespoon of dried parsley. Keep herbs separate. You don't have to keep the herbs them separate, but you know, just to be organized, keep them separate. Measure and add a teaspoon between a tablespoon of dried basil. And remember now, you can use any of these herbs fresh. Just dice it fine or chop it fine. A tablespoon of dried basil. Measure and put aside one tablespoon of salt, one full tablespoon. Make sure it's leveled. Be sure it's leveled and you don't have a mountain of salt. bowl with the con with the onions and the garlic and scallion cover that with a lid and put it aside for later it keep the fumes of the onions all right this is our chicken parts been defrosting for quite some time now if you're in hurry it's best after a little after a while you just remove the first water that you add and pour fresh water it's still frozen I just got up and decided to cook this for dinner and went to the market and bought it so it's it's frozen. I'm just gonna put this aside and allow it to defrost. Alright. It's frozen somewhat still. It's still frozen somewhat. It's tarred enough where I can start preparing. So do as you see me doing and remove remove the chicken's leg leg skin or remove the skin from the chicken's leg. So do as you see me doing. You gotta get a good grip so that you can get it off properly. Now, with chicken's thigh, use your thumb or a knife 
and get between the bone of the chicken's thigh and remove clogged blood and mucks. That's the chicken's butt. Cut that off. The chicken's thigh tend to have a lot of fat around it. Just trim the fat. Do as you see me doing and prepare your chicken's thigh properly. At the end of the day, you want it to be clean and just chicken's flesh on the bone. If you were cooking breast, usually the breast is not that messy. You just take the skin off the breast and then cut it in half. And the, and the wing, you just cut the wing in half or you fold it under. All right, so finish. Rinse this off properly under fresh running water. Actually, what I did is throw, I throw that water off. Because now I'm going to rinse it properly. So measure and add about a tablespoon of distilled white vinegar and water. It's best if you do this in a sink area. Don't to put the chicken in the sink. Do it in a bowl and just clean it properly. All right, so once you do that, just throw that water off. Rinse it off first with fresh running water and then put it in the bowl again. I was going to wash my hands, but before I wash my hands, add the onions, the chopped onions and the scallion garlic and the jerk seasoning with the herbs we're gonna add it while it stews while it prepares for stewing all right you can use your hand and kind of massage the chicken if you want to but you don't have to just use a fork or a spoon or the same knife and kind of shuffle shuffle the seasonings the onions over the chicken and then use a lid and cover it properly and allow it to marinate Allow it to marinate until you're ready to cook. No specific time. What's frozen somewhat still, allow it to, to, to finish thawing while it marinates. So now, to test if it's ready, use a fork and, and poke in it. If it goes straight through, it's ready for frying. It's ready for cooking. Put to heat, put the sauce gauge on four, put to heat a medium saucepan or a Dutch pot, depending on where you are in the world. Put it to heat, the stove gauge is on four, medium low, just allow the saucepan to dry. Don't add the oil to water. Measure in and put aside two cups of water, have it ready. After a minute between two, and no water is in the saucepan or the frying pan, measure and add quarter cup of cooking oil. I use coconut oil. Just allow it to get hot, about 40 seconds between a minute. We're not going to fry any chicken, we're going to stew it down. So, so do as you see me doing and add 
use a fork with one hand with one hand and a, a spoon or another fork in the other hand and remove the excess seasonings then you add a chicken to the heating oil Gauges on four, just allow. Just allow it to cook for about a minute or two. After a minute, and it's and it's sticking like this, don't move it because if you do move it, it's gonna break the flesh. It's gonna break the flesh off the bone, and you don't want that. So add the chopped onions that that the chicken parts been marinating in along with the scallion and just kind of use a cooking spoon and kind of shuffle the chopped seasoning to the oil to the bottom of the saucepan to the bottom of the saucepan allow it to to burn or cook that's the herbs we're gonna add it shortly next add right after that add the mashed garlic all right the secret is if it's the chicken is sticking to the pot's bottom by you adding the seasonings and allow it to cook for a minute or so it, it would allow it would allow you to move the chickens easy easier like how you see me do Those gauges on four, medium low. Just allow it to to build flavor. In natural cooking, what I like to do is to simmer or saute the onions on a medium flame and just let it kind of blend with whatever meat I'm cooking. And kind of build flavor. This is jerk chicken brown stew. We already measured a tablespoon of jerk seasonings. Add it, add the water to the bowl and then stir in the, the one tablespoon of jerk seasoning remember now if you want it to be more spicy which it would taste just as good but it will just be spicy more add two tablespoons of jerk seasoning but for typical everyday dinner family meal where a child probably can eat this use one tablespoon now measure and add one tablespoon of browning this is just a teaspoon right now but i'm gonna add a tablespoon in total so add it to your, your simmering seasonings with the chicken measure and add a tablespoon of soy sauce as well and stir in Now would be a good time to add the herbs, the dried herbs, and the salt. Alright, so once you do that, do as you see me doing and stir in and stir in. The stove's gauge is on four, medium low. Remember now, we're using two cups of water. We add the two cups of water to the bowl with the seasonings, the jerk seasoning and stir it in. And then you, you add the water, the jerk seasoning water to your 
saucepan. Now this is the stew. Now I can start saying stew. So now use the pan's lid and cover it properly. Make sure it's covered properly and allow. The stove's gauge is on four, allow. Medium low, allow. Measure and add one tablespoon distilled white vinegar. Alright, these are some cherry tomatoes that's just growing. They're really wild. These are the wild ones that's been growing in my yard. So I, I like to pick them and eat them at times. So I just threw them in my stew. To remind you, if you have a small tomato, you can also, if you can dice that and put it in as well. After 10 minutes, the stove's gauge is on four, medium low, all this time. This is what the stew looks like. And remember now, keep the lid on, keep the lid, keep the lid covered, keep the saucepan covered within the time. The reason why I'm opening it is just to show you. All right, I looked at the stew and it's a little bit, a little light, so that's why I told you it's gonna be one tablespoon of browning in total. All right, allow. This is jerk chicken, brown stew in a way. 20 minutes later, this is our stew. Remember, keep the lid on within the time. I'm just showing it to you. That's how you want your gravy to look rich. The stove gauge is on four, medium low, allow. And make sure you put the lid on properly, keep it sealed, allow. I forget to say, but we're gonna add quarter cup ketchup. So get your free packs of ketchup, if you don't have any ketchup, ready. 30 minutes in, 30 minutes stewing. This is what it looks like. After 30 minutes stewing, I like to remove the time stick around this time because it tends to splash and mess the stove up and sometimes splash on me and burn me. Sometimes splash and burn me. Lid back on and allow. 35 minutes later, if you want to see chicken, chicken parts, brown stew, you can go and see that it's different from chicken's parts, jerk chicken's parts. So this is really jerk chicken's parts. So it's different from chicken's brown stew. Measure and add half between quarter cup. What I mean by half, of quarter cup between the quarter cup of ketchup. Or four tablespoons is half of quarter cup. So four tablespoons of ketchup between quarter cup of ketchup. Do as you see me doing and add the ketchup to the stew. The ketchup is going to allow it to be smooth, make the gravy smooth and thicken it and also flavor it some more. Alright, put the lid on, allow it to thicken. Stove gauge is on four still. 40 minutes later, alright, you can see the, the gravy bubbling away. You can see how the, the, the bubbles look thick and it's bubbling kind of slowish. That's just that saying the gravy is thickening. Alright, now if too much water is in the stew and you find that it, 
you have too much water, you can turn the stove up on six medium high, and and just allow don't 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 put the lid on. Leave the saucepan open, and just allow the water to evaporate and thicken the gravy more. At the end of the day, the water only aid in cooking the chicken. After you finish cooking, you should only have a nice, beautiful stew. So like I, like I was saying before, if you want to see chicken brown stew, go search that video. But this is jerk chickens jerk chicken brown stew and I also have jerk chicken stew so you see your you see for yourself the water evaporating the gravy is thickening and the stew look brown And the aroma is hitting me in the face. Like I said before, if you want to get this jerk chicken brown stew, spicy, really spicy, hot, add two tablespoons of jerk seasonings. If you want to get it even extremely hot, you can add three, four tablespoons of jerk seasonings. That would be really hot. Let's do it. All right, so you see that it's thickening right before your eyes. This is how you want to get your gravy. Once the gravy starts to drag, drag along the bottom like, like it sticks along the bottom that's a sign to say your gravy is thick enough it's been three between four minutes since since the 40 minutes pass this is at ready stage see how the gravy is thick all right so that's it finish Turn it off. And then you just put the pans later on and just allow it to, to mature until serving. Until serving. Until ready to serve. And before serving your stew, just kind of mix it in properly and kind of moist up all the meat pieces and take a, a scoop of this nice jerk chicken brown stew and lay it on a bit of, bit of rice. A stew like this, Jamaicans, if you want an idea, you can cook a stew like this at, for a party, like dance hall party or, or any kind of party, any kind of adult party. And too, you can also chop it up fine and make it like a fricassee type thing like chunks you can chop it and and, 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 and do chunks instead of the chicken's parts this is jerk chicken brown stew jerk chicken brown stew visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe subscribe like share cook this meal yourself and give us feedback jerk chicken brown stew All right, it's my time now, so I'm just going to add a little bit little more gravy. All right, let's taste this jerk chicken brown stew together. It 
looks juicy. I think you will agree. It's definitely brown stew, the chicken. It's definitely brown stewed chicken. The chicken is very soft and flavorful and mildly, mildly, mildly spicy, mildly spicy. Like I said, the spiciness is is mild. I will give it out of a hundred forty percent spiciness. But it's more it's more it's more like flavor, like jerk seasoning flavor. The spiciness is there, but it's more like a blend of flavor. This jerk chicken brown stew is not as popular, but a few people cook it. You kind of have to know about this recipe to cook it. It's different. I went to two parties on two different occasions, two different years. The first year I remember getting a, a stew, a chicken stew. That had the flavor of jerk, jerk like jerk, jerk chicken, and I was wondering what it was. And the, and the following year, I went to a a girlfriend of mine. Well, I was a driver, so I just I brought them to a Mother's Day dinner that they were having, and the, and they served brown stew, jerk chicken brown stew. So from then, I've always said that I'm gonna do this recipe. I actually went to the lady, I spoke to her and asked her how she did it and she told me that all she did was just add jerk seasoning to the stew. I told her, I told her about jamaicadinners.com and she said yeah, if it's I own jamaicadinners.com. I told her yes. She said I like your cooking style. I visit your website for ideas all the while. Lovely lady, they have a restaurant in Portmore somewhere. No, not a restaurant. She she does catering. Like weddings and stuff like that. Alright guys, you saw me eat this half plate of food. It's delicious. It's different. So you want a different flavor for dinner. Other than the typical brown stew chicken. You want to give it a different flavor, try this meal. It works. And it's flavorful. I enjoyed it. Until next time, bye. Yeah, man!